you don't want a robust kind of dog at this time of the year. You want something that's in good command and sensible. But you also yeah. want a dog that'll catch a lamb if you can. Because yeah. if you haven't got a dog that'll catch a lamb, it can cause you a big lot of trouble. But both of them too will catch lambs. I'm Dave Baxter, and I've been a shepherd 50 years, and I live at Angry Halford. I went in here. It's a heathery place, and about 3,000 acres, something like that. It's a hard sort of farm. I know practically every part of it. When I come here first, there was two of us here, and then one went, and I did it myself after that. And I left school when I was 15. And I went away to Shepherd when I was about 16. And I've been to Shepherd never since then. Well, in them days, they used to take on a sort of apprentice Shepherds, which they don't do now. Yeah, there's hardly anybody taking any young boys on Shepherd now. We've got to be jack of all trades out here. Shepherd, you have to be a little bit of a vet. Um, fencer tractor driver, quad bike rider, you name it, it's, you've got to be able to turn your hand to anything nowadays. Going back to the early 60s, there used to be seven shepherds here, well now it's just me and my wife. So everybody helped each other in them days, so it didn't take as long as it does now, right? But you could gather, three men could go away and gather one hill, three men could go away and gather another hill, and you know, it didn't take as long as it does now. You need good dogs that will run out and think for themselves. I mean, a lot of the time my dog's working out of sight of me. I'm hoping it's doing what it should be doing. <laughs> it's a lot of it's hope as well. It doesn't usually happen that way. <laughs>